The Supreme Court upholding the Obama administration order protecting DACA recipients in a blow to the president's agenda. Chief Justice John Roberts made clear that the administration does indeed have the power to rescind DACA. They just didn't get the process right. So can the White House try again? Joining us now with her expert opinion from the Judicial Crisis Network, Gail Trotter. Gail, thanks so much for being here. This case, as we know, was decided on procedural grounds. Why can't the administration and DHS really just try and fix the procedure and try again? Well, they can, and they should continue to litigate it, but understand that the judicial branch has just jumped buckets of sand into what should be a straightforward process of this administration being able to undo what was an unlawful executive action in the first place. And unfortunately, I hate to say it, but Chief Justice John Roberts strikes yet again. And by the time that this gets through the courts again, it will be a new presidential term. And if Biden were to win, then DACA rescission is gone and lawless people would have been able to weaponize the courts and able to thwart a president that they don't like. And this is not the way that the rule of law and our system of ordered liberty is supposed to work. Let's take a look at what Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas has to say about this. And this says, quote, today's decision must be recognized for what it is, an effort to avoid a politically controversial but legally correct decision. It has given the green light for future political battles to be fought in this court rather than where they rightfully belong, the political branches. What do you think of that? And I understand your point about, you know, timing with the election coming up. But, you know, if there is a procedural issue, there's a procedural issue with it, correct? Or no? Well, Justice Thomas's opinion was spot on. He said that it cannot be correct that an administration can cannot rescind an unlawful action by the prior administration. Justice Thomas has excellent legal reasoning in this. And if you think about it, Chief Justice John Roberts has joined with the legal wing of the court to rule five to four to say that the Trump administration cannot legally undo what the Obama administration did in creating DACA out of thin air. So it is a brazen double standard that anyone can see from the outside. And Justice Thomas really goes into this in his opinion about how the court just doesn't want to get into this, but instead they're really opening the floodgates to even more political battles being taken to the court. And that's not the way that the court is supposed to, to operate. Gail, the president obviously not happy with this decision. He tweeted the following to the court as a whole, basically. These horrible and politically charged decisions coming out of the Supreme Court are shotgun blasts into the face of people that are proud to call themselves Republicans or conservatives. We need more justices or we will lose our Second Amendment and everything else vote Trump. Getting back to DACA for a moment, let's say we're in a situation where Biden wins, and this case is already back at the Supreme Court. If Biden says, I'm scrapping the whole DACA thing, I don't care about it, does that make it moot in the Supreme Court during Biden's term? Right. Well, the government, if Biden were elected, would just stop litigating it. And in this case, dealing specifically what President Trump said in his tweet, Chief Justice John Roberts promised when he was nominated to be Chief Chief Justice, that he would be a fair, independent umpire calling balls and strikes. But in this case, we're seeing that Chief Justice John Roberts has has proudly assumed the jersey of the anti-Trump forces. And, you know, Chief Justice John Roberts was not President Trump's pick. And we saw in the 2016 election that the the Supreme Court vacancies was a huge issue for voters who went and voted. And of those voters who said that this was an important issue, a majority of them voted for Donald Trump. So we're certainly going to see this continuing yep. to be an, a, a huge issue in the 2020 we election. Are certainly going to continue right. to follow this, as we know you will as well. Gail Trotter, thank you very much for joining us.